Here we are, Bellevue Pond parking area, Middlesex Fells, and we got three minutes to see what kind of crazy bug sign we can find from this bench. All right, these, we've talked about these before, these are kleptoparasitic cobweb spider eggs. Uh, they put their eggs in other spiders' webs, and that's how they make a living, by stealing the prey of other spiders. That right there is a ray spider egg sac, also really cool. Uh, that over there, oh, oh, all right, look in front of you there. You see on the ground, it looks like nothing to you maybe, and it looks like nothing to me also. But there's dirt here, and there are leaves here, and there's dirt and leaves. It's a pattern, and that pattern isn't just random, it's caused by earthworms. Earthworms, which, you know our earthworms aren't even native. All our native earthworms were killed by the glaciers 10,000 years ago. These are the big European earthworms that were brought over fishing, all those kinds of things. They're really cool, they slime along, and you can hear them at night. And they grab leaves with their mouths, and they drag them back to their little burrow, chew them up, and build a little debris hut over themselves. Keeps them warm, gives them food, a little entertainment. Uh, very industrious little worms. This is a hickory nut chewed by a mouse. Look over here. All right, where is it? Oh, here it is. Green lacewing cocoon. Green lacewing's awesome little green flying dudes that show up in your house in winter sometimes. And they uh, make these silken cocoons. And the cool thing about their cocoons is when they're ready to come out, they cut a little circle and they have a flip top lid that pops open like the lid of a garbage can. So if there's a cocoon here, that means we should be looking for green lacewing eggs. All right, so when Charlie and I were driving around the country, we had this game. When we got bored, we'd stop the car, get out, and see who could be the first one to find a green lacewing egg. And they're really tiny little things, so you think it'd be hard, but actually, always within five or ten minutes, someone would find one. So our motto is, if you haven't seen a green lacewing egg today, you haven't been looking hard enough. So let's see how many we can find from this bench right here, right now. There's one. All right. You see how they're hanging from a stalker? That stalker doesn't prevent ants and other predators from getting to the eggs. And sometimes they'll coat that stalk in an ant repellent chemical. And, you know, often these are laid singly, but you can see in this case, this species actually lays a cluster of eggs at the end of each stalk there. So there's like, oh, I don't know, a whole bunch of eggs right there. And, oh, there's another one. That's two. One, two, and there's three, and uh, four, and look over here is... Uh Five. I can do this all day. I still got my foot on the bench. There's six and oh, that's actually a spider egg sack But this is a leaf-footed bug egg. These dogwoods have little dots where the leaf hoppers have sucked out their juices They've been eaten by weevils and in this maple there are leaf tying uh, moth houses That's where the leaf tires actually uh, use some silk to stitch the leaves together Some of them roll them and then when they're done living in there and eating inside of there There are other insects that depend upon uh, their shelters that they live in and over there, there's a dead spider stuck in that leaf. You see, it's a victim of a mind-destroying fungus. Took over its mind, made it go to that leaf. The fungus popped out, and the spores are going looking for other. Oh, 